Hello everybody, Betts Golden. I am coming at you today with our home decor and do-it-yourself paint along with our new color wash paint um, and some of our mists with Canvas Core Brands and Tattered Angels as well as a Architect Tall Base sticker that I'm actually going to use as a stencil, stencil, excuse me, on my jelly plate. And as you can tell, my jelly plate is very well loved and really, really icky. So I thought I would share this technique with you. I am new to using this type of paint on a jelly plate. And what makes it really cool is it's rather quick drying. So a lot of times the paints that you use on your jelly plate, uh, plate to press will stay nice and um, wet for a long time and you can get the benefit of that is you can get several um, presses out of it but it also takes a little bit longer to um, dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down several different colors for the first one. This one I think is a, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, crystal is what this one is called. And this one is a jade. And then I'll also put down the saffron, saffron. All right. So I'm going to first do the paint and then uh, it's kind of exciting. I'm going to show you that you can, how you can do this also with the um, mist because I've always wondered what will happen if I use a mist on my jelly plate and um, lo and behold you can I'm probably putting on way too much paint but that's okay I like products that you can use in more than one way across the spectrum multi-purpose products are my favorite and uh, this do-it-yourself home decor stuff really is so that's kind of cool I'm just gonna put some yellow right there and then I'm gonna take my brayer and you want to store it on its back at least um, Linda Israel taught me that because if you store it on its front you'll actually get a, a hard spot so I always store it on its back and I'm just gonna bray this over a few times and there we go and then I have a scratch piece of paper off to the side that I will go ahead and clean that brayer on. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that first image. And I'm just using a piece of heavy white cardstock. You can actually use copy paper. I like that a whole lot better. I'm gonna show you what they did in the Canvas Core booth in just a minute, the paper they used, and it turned out pretty freaking cool. So this is that first print. Pretty, right? So pretty. I like it because you never know what you're going to get. So I'm going to set this aside and by the time my next couple are done, this will be dry and I can go ahead and, and make art, more art out of it. So this is print one. I'm going to add a little bit more blue, I mean white to this because I want to show you what happens when you use a little bit of uh, glimmer mist spray on it. And I'm just putting down some white. And again, I'm going to clean off my brayer. I have some mixing balls in here if you are worried about, um, you know, your, your colors over clogging. That tends to help. This is a new bottle. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on here with my mist. And then I'm going to add some baseboard in Wave. And this is the Plain Jane. Okay. And that has a chalky texture to it. I'm going to go ahead and just make my next press. Oop, I don't have it laying right. Okay. Press this out really, really, really well. And again, this is just a jelly, um, jelly plate. It's just a gel press plate. Cool. And then there's this. So you can definitely see the mist up in the, the chalkboard came through and this is definitely a glimmery. So this is the next print off of this. I'm going to wait for this to dry. Now we're going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to use the architect stick stickers as a stencil. So I'm just going to push these down in a random order and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mist and paint over them 
make. I always like to start with white first. And when you're using your, and some people just do it in uh, like white and, you know, another color and then another color. I like to mix it up a little bit, but it all depends on what your preference is. So a little bit of blue. And then um, let's go ahead and do some, actually this is jade, excuse me. I have crystal jade and saffron. All right, that looks kind of cool. And then I want to add, I think I'm gonna add some green, some of the, this green mist, it's emerald green. Oh, I like those big drops, that's awesome. Getting messy, and then we'll do some more wave. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and run my print on it. Probably should move that. Let's see what happens here. Usually you put the stencil down after. I put it down before. So this might be a very cool effect. Ta-da, check that out. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I so love it. Isn't that pretty? You can actually see those feathers. What a beautiful print. And that's with the architecture sticker. So this is a wonderful, one of my favorite things that Seven Gypsies has are these stickers because you, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna pop them on my cards that I make. And wouldn't those feathers be really pretty on this? On this one, sorry, I didn't hold that long enough. On that one. So that's what I'm going for at this point. Okay, let's see if we can't just lift another print off of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off my feathers. And I'm gonna show you how you can use the Glimmer Mist Color wash paint on this as well as an entire uh, mist system that they have out, that we have. Let's see if this worked. So pretty. It's very subtle, really subtle and beautiful light colors. And when you want to reuse your architecture uh, bases, the stickers, you're just going to go ahead and put them back on the acrylic little sheet that they came on until next time. And I could use these for more stenciling, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and put them on my project. Are those not beautiful? So you like, in essence, did two things at once. Love it, all right. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and move on into some color wash paint. Now, you could go ahead and just do all of your stuff on top of this. You know, add color, 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 and that's totally fine. However, I'm not going to, so I'm gonna just, go ahead with a baby wipe and you want to use a baby wipe when you clean these because they're alcohol free. Otherwise, you're going to end up drying out and ruining your jelly press plate. I don't clean mine usually. I usually just keep adding and just, you know, let it get gunked up and have fun playing and seeing what happens. But for the purpose of what I want to do now, I am going to go ahead and just get the majority of what we just used off of my jelly plate with a baby wipe. So whenever you apply color wash paint, I am not going to use anything with uh, glitter on my mat because I'm afraid it would scratch it. So the color wash paint is really safe. So I'm gonna lay down first, get a base of white down for this. And it doesn't have to be like absolutely perfect, just, you know, just enough there. And then I'm gonna actually take my color wash, dip my brush in and just kind of, see that's like way too much. I'm gonna have to, I wanted it more flicky, but we'll make that work. And I'm just gonna 
rub that out just a little bit, pull it down that way. Then from here, I actually am going to take this cowboy glaze and I'm going to do kind of the same technique again. Now, I this for this particular technique, if you don't have a blob like I do, it's fine to, to use copy paper or some a paper that doesn't have much weight to it. But I'm using a heavier duty white flat cardstock. So it can be a little bit more forgiving. I'm going to put on some butternut squash glimmer. Just going to glimmer that in a couple of places. That is the butternut squash glimmer mist. And this all comes in a pack. I'm going to put some tattered leather on. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some woven burlap. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and lay my print out. Let's see what we get. Now, um, someone at the show was doing this and they had an absolutely beautiful image. And they walked away from it. And because this is a faster drying glue, I mean glue, excuse me, paint, it dried up. And it was no big deal. Uh, they just, you just have to clean it with a baby wipe. So don't panic if you walk away and you have to get the phone and it dries. Nothing is ruined. You lost your image, but that's it. So this is what that ends up looking like. Really fun, rusty type, just a wash, like a kind of cool vintagey wash. And then from here, I'm going to try to pick up the rest of that. And I'm actually going to go back in with this again and lay it down because I'm going to do a, another print. That's fun to do a couple prints. So I'm just really going to go in here and uh, spray this and just see what we can get. So I'm going to just lay, I'm not even going to lay it all on like I did. I'm going to lay it in a section and I smooshed it, which I shouldn't have. I, I uh, accidentally squished it, which moves it up because it is a flat surface. That's pretty. That's really cool. And then on this right here, that's cool too. And then I am just going to lay it all flat down. So you can repress. The only thing you have to take into consideration when you repress like I'm doing right now is that you have a heavier duty cardstock. If not, you want to be very careful if you're using copier paper or something that's a little bit thinner because you may get some tearing. Watercolor paper would be beautiful on this. All right, check that out. Isn't that cool? So cool. So these are some things that you can do with a uh, print, a jelly plate, and your decor paint by Tattered Angels, as well as the color wash paint and the mist system and the glazes. Opens up a whole new world. Let me show you some things that I did um, in the in the booth real quick. This is super cool. What I thought was clever was they used paper that coordinated with the colors that they had out. They used notebook paper. So these are the prints that I got off of that. So cool. This was, I forgot. I'm sorry, you guys. I forgot what colors they were. I was just like, ooh, this is fun. And I was popping them down and making more and more and more. I believe that Linda Israel made that stencil on her Cricut. Turned out so cool. These are actually big packing bubbles. It was the coolest. And in fact, everybody would come to the table and they would just look at the packing bubbles because they were covered with paint and they'd be like, what is that? I want that. And we're like, it's literally trash. Look at how cool that is. Some stars and I used another kind of stencil on this. Again, this is the cleanup. Then this one, two stencils on this as well. And then last but not least, this one. 
So you're like, okay, that's cool. Um, all right. <laughs> what do you do once you make your press? Well, you treat it like you would powder and paper. And so I made this card in about 10 minutes. This was my press. And then this, I just used some glimmer mist on a piece of uh, regular old paper folded it over, added a little rub-on from one of our rub-ons. This is from one of those wonderful architecture kits. It's like a junk kit or something. It's so cool. Some of our letters. I mean, and then it was just so easy. So easy to do. And it's it's pretty, right? It's cute, right? Okay, that's all I have for you. Again, I'm Bets Golden. Please make sure that you scroll through our blog and our videos and see more ideas. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.